that's upstairs in your bedroom. And then we want to have another one. All these kids need to go to bed, like, now. So I think BRC had a lot of good, like, tips for you on kind of handling your dad and stuff. Yeah, that's why it's probably better if we don't invite him to Beta's party. <laughs> it's the best decision, really, I feel, because I'm tired of having hope. I'm tired of having the hope be destroyed. I'm tired of, you know, I'm just, it's, I'm, I'm, done, I'm over it. It's sad that you have to come to that conclusion, but. It well. never ends up working out in my favor anyway, so. Today is Beta's first birthday party, and I'm glad Tyler decided not to invite his dad, so we can just enjoy the day without any drama. Ready, Beta? Beta, Beta, look it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Beta. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. That's right, Nova. I'm not gonna blow it up. No. Eat the cake! Eat the cake! Woo! <laughs> Shake it like your life is <laughs> Stop! Stop! I mean, I would love for you guys to have a little boy. I think Me he'd too. be so cute. And I told your son, the next one, whether it's a girl or a boy, you're getting fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Th I'm done with three. three. Oh, God, yeah. How's your father, Ty? He's, I guess he's here in Michigan. Yeah? Yeah. Have, where's he staying? So. I don't know. No idea. I know nothing. My whole thing is I'm trying to figure out the best way to be loving without enabling. So I feel at least that when I'm enabling is when it's negatively affecting my, if I'm going to bed thinking, are they okay? I'm like, you know what or I mean? Or, 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 really or have an anxiety, yeah. Uh, or and, and they really needed to borrow that money for That 20 said. bucks for gas, yeah. yeah, whatever. All those things, that's when I, that's when I feel like, all right, now I'm negatively, now, now, I'm, now, now I'm worrying about an issue that's not even mine. Now, anything that, that requires yeah. effort on my part no. is not happening. Surprise! I expected to see blue confetti. I know. Whoa! You're having a little sister. It's a girl. Hi, girl. How's the little one doing? She's good. I'm just gonna nest all weekend. That's even a thing? That's a thing. Nesting. You don't get it, cause you're... I don't get it. But um, there's been some things that have been on my mind. Go ahead, say it. There's a lot of changes that are going down. We're getting an apartment together, so I just wanna make sure that Cheyenne feels comfortable with everything. Because I'm sure being at our gender reveal was a little bit weird for her. You kinda know, like, Shy's always wanted, like, to have more kids, to have the white picket fence in the house with the husband and like she was real like family yeah and you know i don't want to ever make it seem like i'm shoving something in her face because right now it's like everything that i have is kind of what cheyenne wanted at one point i'm sure she's fine <laughs> Bentley ended up weighing in under 75 pounds, and he did really well in the regional wrestling tournament. He came in third place, so he made it through to the state tournament. So this year, Bentley has done flag football, cross country, golf, baseball, wrestling. I've always liked him playing sports. I mean, I played a bunch growing up, and I know other people have said 
he does too much. But what else is he going to be doing out here running through the neighborhood? Or playing PlayStation. But yeah. Like, let's be honest. How many kids are just glued to an Xbox or an iPad? Going to have to Our agree. toddlers aren't even glued to iPads. Agree to disagree and parent the way we're going to parent because I think we're doing all right. I would definitely agree. Oh, he also, when he went 0-4 to start the year in those first couple tournaments, you remember he wrote a list of goals out. One of them was to qualify for the state tournament because back then it didn't look at all like we are like, I don't think we're going to be at the state tournament this year. And then he started cutting weight and he had to fight through that. And, you know, for the first two weeks, that was really... <laughs> Ooh, he was a feisty little fella. <laughs> he was hungry. But I think he thought there were many times that he was like, I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And he found a way. Mentally, he's had to make his body perform and do things that even he didn't think he could do. You know, you could tell he felt like good enough to wrestle, but he didn't have any energy in the tank, but he still battled through it and got third place and he's going to the state tournament. Last year after stuff in his life really started to go haywire, we know that it has like saved him mentally. It's the one thing as a child, it's the one thing he has control of. Yeah. Complete control of is wrestling. It's only him on the mat. It's only him pushing himself in practice. You know what I mean? Like it is the one thing yeah. he can control. I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful. The kids can only get one more tardy before I'm sent to truancy court. Your brand new shoes I got you. <laughs> So I'm going to try something new and get their clothes ready the night before. So when you wake up, you can just put the clothes on. I want my mom to be proud of me, so I can't keep dropping the ball. So I'm hoping today will be a fresh start. Whoa, you guys ready? Look at us, we're on time. Yay! We're never on time. Yeah, I know, we're never on time. Buckle up. You guys looking forward to go to school? Yeah. So it's very important that we are on time, all the time for school because We've been getting in some trouble lately. I know life has been pretty tough for all of us, but let's try to work together as a family. And Nanny is so proud of you for being good at school. Now let's meet our AR goals. Let's bring some books home. I cannot read with you guys tonight because I work, but Daddy can, okay? He's sick. Nah, he can get over it. You guys be the good kids you are. Love you. Love you, Gannon. Bye, Gannon, I said I love you. OK. Gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I just dropped the kids off at school and they were 10 minutes early and I'm so proud of myself. So That's good. I'm happy they were early. You need to do that every day. Every day. We'll all get it together though because we're gonna work together as a unit and get our crap together. All right, bye. bye. Ryder starts preschool prep tomorrow, so I'm spending as much time with her as I can. All right, let's play Barbies. I haven't left her alone with anybody we don't know, so I'm nervous, but I know this will be good for her. Who is this? Dad. This is Daddy. I'm actually very proud of Ryder because she hasn't had any, like, days where she's, like, just been crying, like, where's my dad? But it still is really new. 
Where's Taylor? Let's see. Taylor? Oh, here she is. Taylor? <laughs> Taylor? Why is she sick, Ready? Is she hot or is she cold? Cold. She's cold. Okay, put a blankie on her. Here you go, Taylor. <laughs> We've been keeping in touch with Taylor to not confuse Ryder while Corey's away, but I haven't talked to her in a couple of days. I know she's home visiting her family and friends in Portland, so I hope everything's going well. How's been visiting your parents? How's it's that? It's good. I yeah. needed to be with them for a little bit. It's a good time to do it. So yeah. My mom can see me, take care of me. Yeah. Is it weird for them to see you all pregnant now? Well, my dad like cries all the time. That's so cute. Every time, oh, so every cool. time he sees my stomach, he's like, oh. "How's Ryder taking it? Is she excited to have a sibling?" Yes, is she? she is. That's so she cute. was so cute on the phone. I was like, "I think it might be a boy." I was like, "I think you might have a brother," and she's like, "No." Oh my <laughs> gosh, like, we'll like, see about that. She's so cute. <laughs> Do you like being pregnant right now, or? Uh, it's just weird. Yeah. I think I don't necessarily like it because Corey's not here. Yeah. Mm. I think that's why I'm like not fully like enjoying things. You miss him? Yeah. Yeah. We're halfway through though. Like, yeah, don't no. cry. No. No. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> that's so sad. Well, it's a good sign though that he hasn't come back yet though. Yeah. Because he's doing good. And if he wins, you guys are gonna be set up really well. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. The not talking thing is. The yeah, worst, it's hard. But yeah. I feel like it's time for him to call. Poor mama. Oh, I'm glad to be home. Yeah. Those hospital beds are uncomfortable. <laughs> Try the couch. <laughs> Chance, watch out. Feels like a girl. I love it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your experience of coming out of your mother. Was it wild? And that was wild. I was not prepared to not be induced. You know, you woke up at what, six, three o'clock? Then I woke you up at six. Oh, <laughs> like it's coming, I can't take it. It hurts so bad. <laughs> and then they gave you your epidural and then she was like feeling good after that. The doctor said, quit laughing or she's gonna fall out. <laughs> and then she laughed and popped you right out. One and a half pushes later. So how was it having your first daughter versus all your little heathen boys? Well, I was there this time. <laughs> that was that You was were there for Bentley. Well, yeah, but I don't know. It was the same. It's always a little overwhelming, I guess. Yeah, for sure. I feel excited. Are you excited, Stella? I really want to figure out Dimitri's intentions, so I decided to ask him to take a lie detector test. I just hope he understands and doesn't freak out. So, <clears throat> you know I have horrible trust issues because I've been hit with so hard with my exes. It's kind of like, holy crap, I was naive. Yeah. And I would like you to do a lie detector test. Mm-hmm. Just to... Show me I'm not wasting my time with you. You understand? Yes. It's okay. Yeah. And uh, I just want to know that you're here for me. And I just want the loyalty and the honesty and the trust from whoever I'm with. Mm -hmm. And I think now it's to the point of boyfriend and girlfriend and falling in love. So it's going to be hurtful if I find anything out in the future. I'm really glad Dimitri understands where I'm coming from. So I set up for him to take a test that will let me know if he's telling the truth or not. Hi. Hi. How are you, Amber? Tell me what's going on. Why are we asking uh, Dimitri to take the exam? I've had uh, quite a few exes who have either cheated on me or lied 
and uh, taken a lot of money from me. What is you you're, you're trying to get out of him today? What what do you well, need me to pull out of him? I just wanted to make sure that he is here for the right reasons. He's here for me. He's in the country for me. In other words, is he looking for American wife? Exactly. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> exactly. You look directly at me and give the answer into my laptop. Mm -hmm. And I will record your voice, and then I'll separate your voice from your answer, yes or no. And that's what I chart out. Okay. Well, I need to ask you to take a walk. <laughs> I'm taking a walk. Go ahead and shut that door, Amber. All right. Is there anything that you don't want Amber to find out about? No skeletons in your closet. still has a fever and is vomiting, so she was admitted to the hospital. They put her in an isolation room so the doctors can monitor her condition. Corey's still at the challenge, and I don't want him to quit the competition, so I haven't told him what's going on. They're gonna start running tests and trying to figure out what exactly is wrong with her and waiting for Ryder to start to eat on her own and to get her IV bag put in so that she can get fluids. And the sooner she starts to eat and hold her food down, the sooner we can go home. To protect Ryder, she can't have visitors, so I'm trying to hold it together on my own. Mommy, I got Cheyenne on the phone. Oh, and hi, Ryder. honey. Shyby. Hi, Shyby. Hi, Ryder. Hi. We miss you so much. How's it going? Are you eating a cracker? That's a big girl. And they're eating all day. And, and everything. she's been able to keep it down? Yes. That's good. What about Corey? Does he know? No. No? OK. I can handle what's going on here. We're going to try to figure out how to get out of here. OK. All right. Love you. I love you, honey. Bye. 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 I really miss my mom, and I'm trying to be the kind of mother to my kids that she was to me. So I'm doing everything I can to make Jaxie's birthday extra special. And We're here. Happy birthday, dear six-year-old. <laughs> okay, you have to make a wish. <laughs> what was your wish? I can't tell you. You're right. You can't tell me. Daddy. Six years ago today, guess what I was doing? What? I was sleeping next to your dad because he was holding you, and he was so excited to have a girl. You wanted boys. But I, I know I, that. Who told you? <laughs> you did. Papa. Well, guess he wanted a girl really bad. Daddy. Mm hmm And guess what daddy got? What? Tomboy. <laughs> a girl, a very pretty girl. What is this? You're our best child, but you're not allowed to tell the boys. Well, it's late, so let's all get some sleep. I'm good with that. We love you so much. We love you. my workout class tomorrow, so today I have some fun activities planned for Jaxie. That was awesome. I feel like it's been a while since we've done anything. I know the boys aren't here, but as a yep. family. I like you and Daddy. Aw, you like me and Daddy. Well, I love you. I think you forgot you actually liked me. Have you had a good birthday? Yeah. Manny got to see my birthday. Yep, she was watching the whole time from heaven.
Detroit Zone today to discuss the plans to relaunch his kids' clothing company. I hope they can work out the details because I know how much this business means to him. Wow, you guys are already waiting for me? We are, we are. I brought presents. Yay. I got shirts, uh, just logo stuff and merch and all that, you know, fun stuff. Yay, so. awesome. Okay, how's everyone been? Good, Mark stranger, yeah. good to oh, see you. Good. See ya. Okay, here we are, back at the table. Okay. Back at the yeah. table. So let's start off with this website thing. This website looks great. I mean, you did more in three weeks than I could do in like <laughs> half a year. I'm like, what is going on? So, uh. Do you know which you ones you would want to start with? Like for production? Yeah. This outfit for here for the girls, I would like to okay. have that be one of the ones that go out first. All right. And then oh, is like it going to be this then, for the yeah, boys? Yeah, that's what I want to do for the boys. Tunic. Okay. I'm back in the game, so, and I'm really glad that you guys It's a are whole new year in every sense of the word, Tyler. Yeah, right? I'm just glad that you guys are willing to help me out because if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what I would do. Aw, that's, nice. that's <laughs> Seriously. nice to hear. Well, we are on it. Upside down. Ashley's watching Veda while we pick up Nova from school. It's been a few days since Tyler met with Detroit Sewn, and he seems excited about the relaunch, but he just got some news about the pricing, and now he's really stressed. I agreed to have them help me with the brand management stuff, all this, you know, whatever. And yeah. uh, and they told me about the price increases per piece item. And the price increases just don't, they're so high that I just don't see any justification for them. No. Why did one of my items triple in price? Yeah, that, that's that ridiculous. Is, that is insane. Like, and you then know, we'd it, have to charge almost and $50 then I, for I, it. And I, and, and, I, and I will not stand by charging consumers this crazy price be for 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 um kids you know it's a kids clothes i'm no. not doing it because i know everyone's thinking go to china have your stuff made over there it's like dude no i'm not no because then i can't that. physically sit down with these people and look at the for one yeah i can't quality control how can i go in there and vouch that these little kids are freaking bleeding out of their fingers for 60 yeah. cents an hour no. making my stuff no. and i'm over here making all this money in america right. like oh yeah you know what i mean like i want to start a company that i was passionate about that yeah it's gonna feed my family Family, but at the same time, my mission is I want to keep it local. I want to keep it here. So, so you're gonna call I'm all stressed tomorrow. out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was all excited about this relaunch. I'm like, oh yeah, we're all. Now it's like. <sighs>
Speaking of the kids, I I just got an email. From? The for the test for Bentley's test scores. How do you do? It says, thank you for bringing Bentley in for the test. Blah blah blah. Here are his results. We're looking for a denying score of five or higher and a school ability index of 95 or higher. He got a denying score of six and the uh, the school ability index, uh, he got a 101. So he passed the entrance exam. Mm-hmm. If we're not wanting to do something, we should never test him because he will prevail. <laughs> I'm okay with rewarding him if he earns it. If he wants to do this, as long as he takes it seriously and continues to get good grades and yeah. stay out of trouble, then <laughs> we'll continue to support him. He'll be excited. He will be excited. Benny, come here. Well, buddy. Past. So we're gonna explore the option of private school. We are. See what the classes are like, sports are like. So we're gonna take a tour of the school. Gotta go to an interview with the principal. Uh-uh, we will. You ready for that? If we explore this private school thing and decide to go that route. It's expensive. It's a lot of money. You have to keep your grades up. And don't take any of this for granted. Okay. But you gotta get in first. You did really good. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. I'm very proud. For everything you need to know about preventing pregnancy and protecting yourself, go to itsyoursexlife.com. Good night last night. You know, I try to communicate with Dimitri. It's a little difficult. <laughs> that language barrier is very difficult to get by. I mean, I like the guy. Leah seemed to have a good time last night. I think she liked to feel included, yeah. of course, in the conversation. You That's know, the I think preteen she, coming out in her, too. Right. I think she also wants this relationship that she has with her mom to continue. You know, she doesn't want to feel second to, you know what I mean? And no, I guess she that. shouldn't feel that way either. Oh. But if Amber can keep one thing in mind that her kids come first, and if Dimitri can accept that, then good. Mm -hmm. I keep asking, why don't we talk? I'm glad everyone seems to like Dimitri, but I hope he isn't overwhelmed by my blended family. Why don't we talk? I like coming in the bed for you with the coffee. I like when you come into the bed with the coffee. <laughs> He's good for you. Yesterday, did you feel comfortable? Yeah, very. At uh, Gary's? What do you think about Gary? I think he's good guy. He's here for you, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's protect you, too. I don't understand you speak fast. <laughs> I don't understand that, okay? <laughs> Being around Leah? Good. She's very funny. She's amazing. I liked yesterday, though. It was nice. Because I want to keep doing things like that with Leah. Yeah. And you have to be comfortable with it, too, and make sure Leah and everybody else is comfortable. Me, I'm comfortable. Because it's the big changement. Change? Yes, big Different. change. But it's OK. I wasn't saying I was going to kill myself. Yeah, that's how I took it. Because I'm not going to do that to my kids. I did not think her death was going to be half this hard. 
And I, I, I understand. Actually, I don't. I haven't been through it. And I'm sorry that you're going through it. I'm always here. You just gotta let me. But that doesn't make sense. Mackenzie, I need you to let me be there for you, but I'm gonna walk away. How? I mean, that entire conversation was about your mom. Then, you know, it leads from Gannon acting like me and it's scary, this and that. How? All I was trying to get, no, yeah, no do I'm not. No, I'm gonna go get Jack's right. I'm no, not walking away. Yeah, you are. Away. Sit down. I'm not done talking to you. No, because this is how it always goes. I am not done talking no, yeah, so to I you. Feel, I really felt like you're just coming at me, like trying to attack me. My point was, is you and Gannon are not emotional people. And I do, I want him to know that, and you, to know that it is okay to talk about stuff. You can't look at me? You when I tell you I need you to just be here for me. You are working on it. I wish you were. I just feel like I'm so desperate for you to love me in a way that you don't. Why can't I ever talk to you? I don't know what I'm saying. You know how I feel. I don't know. I love you. Bailey's going to middle school. I know it. Bigger problems. Rough roads ahead. What about Bentley breaking up with his girlfriend? Oh, yeah, so, they broke up. Yep. Oh, it's a tragedy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he seemed like really upset though when it happened. Like, you're in fifth grade, dude. Like, I feel like he's gonna be one of those guys that boohoo cries a little bit. About his girlfriend? Yeah. I mean, is it I that feel serious? Like, you're in I fifth grade. I feel like he's gonna be like one of those guys where the chicks break up with him on purpose just for Aww. like a, a funny show. Watch this. <laughs> That's mean. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm excited for him to be able to live the single life again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it. Does that count? No, you hit it twice. Oh. So your mom said your girlfriend broke up with you? I did. Oh, you broke up with your girlfriend? Yeah. How come? Because she's saying stuff. But then you just told her this ain't really going to work out? Yeah. Uh, did you kiss her? No. Never have? No. OK. That's good. We'll get you in trouble. So you get another girlfriend? No. You're just going to stay single for a little bit? Worry about wrestling? Yeah. Baseball? Nothing wrong with that. Oh my God, 7'5". You know, you're getting a little older, and every year you get older, your girlfriends will be a little more serious. And you'll be a little more serious too. But, you know, I know we've, your mom's kind of mentioned it to you before, but you need to respect them, treat them with respect, right? Yeah. Which I think you do. But at the same time, you need to Make sure you're giving that same respect back. You know what I mean? You don't need to have a girlfriend just to have a girlfriend if she's going to treat you like crap. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Hey, Ann, I want to make sure you know, you know you can come talk to me and your mom about anything, right? Yeah. But as you get older and become a young man, there is going to be stuff here. I'm like, I don't want to tell my mom that, or I don't want to ask my mom that. Yeah. You can come ask me. You know what I mean? Or even if it's something you want to ask your mom, but you don't know how to ask her or how to go about it, and you want to come and say, hey, I want to tell my mom this or ask my mom this. 
what's the best way to do it? I'll help you figure it out. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Next point wins. Okay. Dang it. Dang Get out. Game. I want to be able to work through my own past traumas, so I hope I can talk to my psychiatrist about that today. Dimitri is coming with me to my appointment, but he's going to stay in the waiting room. I feel personally, in the way that we are together compared to my exes, it's just completely different, you know. I get the respect back from you as well. Now I know the loyalty that you have for me and the honesty that you have for me, and it's just like, it's a huge relief in my mind. Yeah. You know me, I want the best for you. Yeah. You know that. But now it's like time for me to like, get my together. So I just want to make sure that I'm able to fall in love with you without putting all of these past issues on you. Like, I just don't think it's fair to you. Like, I know that I can fall in love with you 100%, like, with no questions. And I know that we can be super happy. It's just, I'm scared. Scared for what? I'm scared that I'm gonna get hurt. You know me never hurt in your hurt. Well, if I knew that, then I wouldn't be scared, sweetie. Maybe I don't. Corey's coming home today, but we can't meet him at the airport since Ryder can't leave the house to prevent her from getting sick again. So he and Taylor are gonna come over after he lands. Hi, baby. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Now do what you want. His producer from the challenge told him Ryder was sick, but I haven't talked to him yet, so I don't know if he's mad or not. Did you miss daddy, Ray? Yeah. Yeah, what was he doing this whole time? Do you remember? No, I uh -uh. That's a long trip, Rye. I did it! You did you it. You did I really it. Like that, bro. Is your heart racing? Yeah, I'm nervous. He's gonna freak out when he sees your baby bump. I know. Let's see. I miss you so much. You <laughs> too. You see the stomach. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Hey, you really pregnant. <laughs> I know. Uh, let's go see Ryder. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. And it was crazy getting my phone back and having Sky talk to me about, you know, Ryder was in the hospital. And when she told me that, I was like, what? Yeah, she, was like, she, yeah. she was in the hospital twice. She had a fever. And then the fever went away, and she was OK. So she went home the next day. And then when she came home, she was throwing up. So she went back. To hear that after you just get done with the challenge, that your daughter's in the hospital, like, it didn't feel good. I, I know, sick. Cheyenne texted me. She's like, I don't know if we should say something. I was like, I probably, I don't know. It was like one of those things we didn't want to tell you and have you freak out because she was being taken care of. Yeah. today. Tyler isn't coming, so it's a big moment for me. I'm nervous, and I really hope I can express how much I want to be a part of this company. Hi! Hi. Welcome! How are you? I'm good. How are so you? So nice to meet you. What's going on? I'm 
we're gonna take a picture. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, we literally just moved it's in today. It's so cute. You're actually the first person to be in the office. Oh, really? Yeah, super cool and super fun. And this Hi. is Lisa, Hi. one of the co-founders. Nice so to meet you. I'll give you a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, girl. Right. Angela, Angela, one of Angela. the co-founders as well. Hi, Angela. You want to go ahead? And okay, sit sure. Down? Let's go. Well, we're super excited to finally meet you. I know, in me person. too. Me too. I am super passionate about what you guys are doing. Like, it seriously helped me to be able to like just focus more time on enjoying being with Veda and feeding her and like knowing what she's getting. Like, I'm down to do whatever because I think it's important. One of the things we've been thinking a lot about is like, how do we devise sort of like even potentially like a small little council of people who we really trust to help us. So it could be something interesting that we should talk oh, absolutely. more yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to have you more involved. You get people who are anonymously submitting questions yeah. just about parenthood all the time. I think it could be really interesting to kind of have potentially like your voice Oh, focus completely. in, in certain, in certain, like what? If you had to pick a category of types of questions that you feel like you're, you're most passionate about answering and talking about, what would that be for like new parenthood? I think from people like what they've seen with my story and stuff is becoming a new parent and struggling with the baby blues, the postpartum stuff. Is this normal? Is this how you're supposed to yeah. feel? Why do I feel sad? Why, you know, like I feel like a lot of people connect with me on that because I was so open yeah, you were. about it. So. We've been actually talking about how we want to, as a campaign, really feature like who our customer is like we say this all the time but like our community is the face of little spoon like mm -hmm. you are little spoon and right. so how do we bring that to life in the creative and collateral that we're creating mm -hmm. what if we did a video you know it'd be an interesting idea of like filming from a like a mother's view perspective going to the store picking out the produce going home mm -hmm. put steaming it chopping it up Writing the dates, putting it in the freezer, yada, yada, yada. You while like, you're picking the kid up, feeding them, you know, trying yeah. to do all this stuff. And then so it's like before Little Spoon. And then after I Little Spoon. And it's like ding, that. ding. Yeah. You know, like yeah. showing. Would you be down to do that? Oh, absolutely. Wait, I love this. No really running around, beta. Yeah. For sure. Well, okay. I just appreciate you guys like literally like, I don't know, taking, taking a, a chance on me. And like. Honestly, this is like why we're doing yeah. what we're doing though. Like anything we could do to connect better and be helping people. And if you think about it, like out of my 3.5 million followers, majority of them are mothers. You can't not do something with that. No, like, I, mean, I love I, it. No, it's honestly amazing that like you care this much to do something for these people because like that is where we're getting information from. We'll schedule next step stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I hope, you, enjo I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I did. <laughs>